Hello. Oh, please don't confuse test for ion 2 with ion 3, though both of them require nearly similar reagent, but be careful here in your observation. We need aqueous ammonia or aqueous uh, sodium hydroxide and then potassium hexacyanoferrate 3. In with aqueous sodium hydroxide, a dirty green gelatinous precipitate is formed as you can see. The dirty green gelatinous precipitate will remain insoluble when we add excess of the aqueous sodium hydroxide. Then the dirty green gelatinous precipitate will turn reddish brown on exposure to atmosphere due to the atmospheric oxidation of the ion 2 to ion 3 by the atmospheric oxygen. Please, we are now using aqueous, uh, next thing is to use the aqueous uh, ammonia. We will observe similar results. Exact thing we observed in aqueous sodium hydroxide is what we we'll still see in aqueous ammonia in drops. Dirty green gelatinous precipitate will be formed on exposure or on standing as you can see. There is oxidation of the ion 2 to ion 3. The upper part of the test tube is reddish brown and that should be the ion 3. Then the lower is ion 2. The upper part is the ion 3. So that is the third method now. We use the ferricyanide, potassium ferricyanide. That is potassium hexacyanoferrate 3. Remember, in testing for ion 3, you use ferrate 2. In testing for ion 2, you use ferrate 3. You will have to get a deep blue known as tombu blue. Tombu blue. In terms of a, a, a test for ion 3, you get Prussian blue. But in ion 2, you get tombu blue. Though the blue are similar. As you can see, this is what we call tombu blue, not Prussian blue. But in analysis, they appear to be the same thing. That is using potassium hexacyanoferrate 3 and not 2. You use ferrate 3 while testing for ion 2. Now, please subscribe. As you can see, this is so colorful that we have used it to write subscribe. Subscribe for, to this channel for we have best for you in salt and qualitative analysis, even quantitative analysis. Watch three ways to test for ion 3 to know the differences between ion 3 and ion 2 compounds. Thank you.